Many biologists are busy trying to prove Dr. Kimura wrong. Theodosius Dobshansky, America's foremost geneticist, leads the opposition. At the University of California at Davis, he works in quite a zoo of Drosophila flies, species and races collected from the mountains and jungles of the Americas. They reveal the variations in their vital molecules. But Professor Dobshansky is confident that the founder of evolutionary biology is not outmoded by any molecular discoveries. Darwin's theory of natural selection is probably the greatest discovery in the history of biology. The theory was subjected to criticism ever since Darwin's time. Some people claimed that evolution is due to inheritance of characters acquired during the lifetimes of the parents of a given individual. Others ascribed evolution to some mysterious inner drives implicit in all living matters. It took a century to show that these objections are devoid of foundation. But now, Dr. Kimura and his followers claim evolution to be due to changes which are neither useful nor harmful to their possessors, are simply neutral and unestablished merely by chance. If that were so, evolution would have hardly any meaning, would not be going anywhere in particular. All that we know, all that we observe, both in nature and in the laboratory, seems, I believe, to contradict this contention. This is not simply a quibble among specialists. To a man looking for meaning of his existence, evolution by natural selection means makes sense. 